The country's largest African-American parade returning to Bronzeville today. Good afternoon, everyone. The Bud Billiken Parade had thousands of people lined up along King Drive to enjoy the marching bands, the dancers, and lots more as kids celebrate the start of a new school year. But the fun did not stop there. The party continuing in Washington Park, where our Christian Picos joins us now live. Christian, over to you. Hey, Robbie, good evening to you. Well, the party here at Washington Park has actually just wrapped up after the 93rd Bud Billiken Parade. It is a gorgeous evening, so there are still lots of families obviously enjoying some good music and some good barbecue as well. But look, this tr parade is a tradition that's passed down from generation to generation. Bands march to the beat. Chicken sizzles on the grill and rifles are expertly tossed in the air. It's been going on for many years since I've been a kid. The Bud Billiken Parade returned today in all its glory with thousands of people lining the route. It's part of the family. Thomas Yancey says his family has been coming to the parade for decades, a tradition that starts early in the morning. We got out here, I've been out here, like I said, since 7 o'clock this morning. And they call us the chicken family. So we got chicken wings, chicken legs, chicken breast, chicken thighs. The two and a half mile long celebration is the largest African American parade in the country and celebrates the return of the school year. It was scaled back last year because of the pandemic. To bring it back together, especially for something like this, is beautiful. And to be outside is like really good, like to even be around. The Bowman family enjoyed watching the parade together. I've been coming out here when my kids was like six years old. Now they 40. <laughs> Upholding tradition, one of the main reasons people have returned to this celebration on the south side year after year. Helicopters hovered above as police officers patrolled the route below, with security being a top concern this year following the 4th of July mass shooting in Highland Park. But the heightened measures didn't hamper the parade's energy. To me, it kind of means she's bringing the community together to watch everyone dance and perform. A celebration now marching on to its 94th year. Robbie, the parade's theme this year was Bud Billiken 365, which celebrates the importance of education every day of the year. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.